our incline uh, ramp here. What we have here is a 135 gram steel ball. It's quite hefty. Loaded here in the jig here. And what we have here is a competitor's aluminum silicate glass with a 7 newton scratch. So there's a faint scratch right there that's visible. We have it protected in plastic there so it doesn't shatter and get all over the place. So I'm going to load it here in the tester. This ramp is set at 10 degrees. So I'm going to let that pin go. You see there the competitor glass is broken. So we'll do the same test with the Auto Glass 3 with the same 7 newton scratch and it's 0 0.7 millimeters thick, both pieces of glass are. So we'll load it up. You see here, the Gorilla Glass 3 still survives. So what we're going to do now is actually raise it up three times. So the angle is going to set up being 10 degrees, it's going to be 30 degrees. And to show how much force that is, this is three times greater force. We have a piece of aluminum, about the same thickness as the glasses. Over here in the tester. You see there's a nice sizable dent. So we do the same thing with the piece of Gorilla Glass 3. That's the same scratch as we had previously, 7 newton scratch. Over here in the temple. Still, bounced yeah, twice, wow. and it still, it still survives. But we're going to show you even more. So we're going to take the same sample and load it in this tester here, and we're going to ramp that force up to 100 pounds. So you watch the scale there, go all the way up. We're really trying to get on it, and it's all the way up past 100 pounds of force. And we're applying the load to the glass. And you still see that corny grill glass three still survives after even 100 pounds of force. So that's the advantage of the corning grill glass three compared to the other competitive glasses. What's the difference between the corning glass two and the three? I mean.